taste of Jackson Heights is like a taste of the world, all together in this one neighborhood. So many people have to cross Roosevelt Avenue to get to the trains and the buses over there. You had so many conflicts between trucks and buses and cars and pedestrians. I did not go down the street too often because it was so crowded. 73rd was a bus station, very congested and people cannot walk. There were so many accidents and near accidents. The Department of Transportation really heard what the problems were. And so then this, when the solutions came, they met the problems. They moved the bus that used to run down 73rd Street to the new subway station and bus depot. I like the way the bus running now is perfect. It's cut between five and 10 minutes off the bus ride. Traffic is much better now. Extending the crosswalks on Roosevelt Avenue has just made that journey so much safer for kids coming and going to school, for families coming and going to work. The Department of Transportation created this plaza. It's become a real public space, like a town square. I moved into Jackson Heights in 2005. I own the Espresso 77 in Jackson Heights, Queens. I live on 80th Street in Jackson Heights. I'm the owner of New York Gold Company in Jackson Heights since 1978. I know I'm going to be in that community for at least 15, 20 years, and I want to be part of the change. For us to be asked, what do you think about your city, about your neighborhood, how would you want to see it improved, is really inspiring, and it's how city agencies and institutions should work.